Okay, so um, I wanted to briefly um, give you all a look at the various interfaces you can use with an ESXi host. Um, I've got, um, so of course we've got our DCUI here. Um, this is our direct console user interface. Um, and this will allow me to do basic things like set up my management networks, restart them, test them. The test feature is actually quite interesting because it will ping things and resolve host names and things like that. Very useful. Um, you can configure your keyboard, do some look at some troubleshooting things, um, enable or disable um, your ESXi, sh ESXi shell and SSH interfaces, restart your management agents. Your management agents are the programs on each, inter e on each ESXi host that tie into um, your vSetter server, if you've got one. Um, let me go. I can look at system logs. Really, this is all I can do. Notice, there is not nothing, literally nothing, about managing VMs creating them, starting them, stopping them, nothing. You literally can't do anything except manage the local ESXi host in the direct console user interface DCUI. Uh, um, okay. Okay. So let me get my I'm sorry, get my cursor back. One of my other one of our other options, I've I've actually got both of these ESXi hosts up and running. And I don't actually have to do anything with them at their, uh, except to start them and leave them. I'm going to do most of my control from this Windows 10 client here. I've actually tied into it. I've, I've gotten into its local shell using SSH. Um, and I've also got um, a, this is the, the VM, uh, VMware web client. Uh, this is what you've, you, you may have used in the classroom before now, because you can see your data stores, you can see your VMs, you can manage things, everything from package to services to hardware. We also have vCenter, the virtual appliance, um, which is also something I can tie into. It also, uh, this is actually, this v, this virtual appliance, uh, okay, it looks, um, it looks like, okay, it, it, this looks like the DCUI. Um, Um, let's see if I can remember the password. I haven't used this one in a while. In any case, okay. Um, you can also tie into this using, um, okay, Alt. you can also go into this with uh, your vCenter, with, 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 with a web console of its own. Um, okay. Um, okay. Vcenter six seven. So I've I put all these things in my and there's a specific port that it's going to want open uh, fifty four eighty, which is actually this is actually something we'll talk about next week. Advanced, yes, it looks a lot like the other one. Um, it's going to force me to log in, and then I'll stop there because I don't want to waste time trying to uh, remember this password. But yeah, there's lots of different ways to do this. Um, when we talk about the uh, ESXi web client, this is what we're talking about. When we're talking about DCUI, we mean um, the, uh, the 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 uh, the yellow and gray and black um, console interface. Uh, there's also the shell and the uh, virtual uh, console, uh, virtual command line, etc. So um, that's just a little bit of what uh, oh, our many, many options. Um, and let me see if I can find this. Because um, the next thing I want to talk about is our... Um, actually, we're going to talk about the virtual network next. Cool. So that'll be my next video, uh, my another lecture video about the virtual network and virtual switches, then working with VMs, virtual hardware, uh, virtual switch policy, etc. Um, a lot of these things will 
We'll lay the groundwork in this chapter and go into more depth in the next chapter. So thanks for watching.